getting thrifty. Getting thrifty with Rick and Morty fan artwork. Trying to squeeze in a uh, thrifty here. I redrew this a couple times already, but we're gonna have another another go. Posted uh, some of my uh, another Jack Skellington fan art piece on my Facebook and got the remark of uh, Sally is much classier in th than that. And I drew her, drew her in her in her underwear, in the bikini, and I just thought, um, you know, what is classy? You know, I know some, um, I know of some <laughs> women that are uh, Bible thumpers. Um, they look like uh, Target moms. Like moms that belong in a Target catalog just uh, with the folded sweater across their shoulders and their khakis um, holding their kids cheerfully with a big ass perfect smile with veneers across their fucking grill who are uh, complete fucking whores but you get to know them in uh, in person and they're um, what is that show or that reference is it the Stepford Wives or some shit like that And I think when, when we start to say, I don't mind the comment, but, you know, it's, what is classy, you know, what is that? Especially in 2017 where you got fucking kids, stupid ass fucking kids. I'm talk, when I say kids, I'm talking about little fucking mutts in, um, in elementary school, not even junior high, elementary school. You know, being concerned about twer twerking, twerking. <sighs> I remember how I dressed like a fucking complete uh, dark and doofus in uh, in elementary school. Now, <clears throat> but I guess I shouldn't uh, waste energy on that. When I could be using that energy and that focus on just uh, getting shifty here, getting shifty correctly. I think that's why Rick and Morty is so successful when it uh, when Rick uh, points out the 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 disappointment in uh, his daughter for marrying what's his name uh, Morty's dad. I know that his lover was a uh, sleeping Gary with the uh, one of the uh, alien uh, memory takeover. And uh, how they discuss um, the wife who uh, stayed there. Who the, basically, the mom and dad stayed there for the, because of the because of Morty's sister because um, because of getting pregnant. And I think of uh, and it's good that uh, parents stay together, right? For for the kids, but. 
how many dudes, how many bitches are out there that are just, um, that are living in a house and feel the same way, C-S-C-H, and are feeling the same way as, uh, some inmate on, in isolation in Pelican Bay. I'll refer to one of the moments in my life that uh, scared me straight to not shoot, not shoot live rounds downrange <laughs> into a uterus, meaning to always use uh, birth control. Went by one of my favorite uh, cafes, sat down, ordered my food. Got my coffee. I'm not sure if it was coffee or tea that day, but I had my drink and uh, working on some sketches, just getting shit done. And I remember that it was a Valentine's Day, and I did think, man, you know what? I, um, I ain't got no bitches. I ain't got no love. Man, am I fucking up? Am I missing out? I started having doubt, right? And I'm thinking, man, I'm fucking up here. All right, then I'm gonna make something happen uh, when the opportunity comes. But let's get this shit done. And I'm sitting facing the entrance of the cafe. Dude walks in, maybe uh, mid thirties. Walks in, pushing a baby stroller. His fat, annoying wife on a fucking cell phone, I believe. And he's just uh, goes towards the table in front of me, sits down. She asked him for his food. What, what does he want? As he sits down and gets uh, comfortable with the, uh, with the kid. And, and he's there like uh, an, the I don't think that the word is annoyed, but uh, very uncomfortable, even, and I'll notice it later, that it was disappointment. And uh, she's like, what do you want? Oh, give me whatever. I'm giving a fuck. <laughs> what the fuck he puts in his body? And, uh, I'm not sure if he, he put the kid in the in the baby seat next to him or he was holding the kid, I forget. But I remember that uh, he sat down, looked right, his eyes were facing right towards me. But he, he was not looking at me. He was not. He was looking through me. <laughs> he was not staring at my face. He was staring into my inner being like don't do this don't do this there's more out there in this world don't do this don't become this don't become don't get here and just moments earlier I was having doubts as to again uh, Man, I'm, I'm single, man. I ain't got no bitches, man. I remember when I used to have uh, my um, my main all-star bitch, my uh, second in line, and my fucking bench warmer.
and thinking it meant I fucked up, but. That brought the, that reminded me of the comfort of simply, of, of peace and quiet. And it's, uh, it's similar now when I used to live um, in the countryside where I was, uh, shit, had a fucking, um, had a farm basically around me and miles, it was a mile, a couple miles to the neighbor's home in either direction and just uh, so quiet that at night that if you went out you could just hear the insects fucking just the chirping and shit like that With the silence at the end. I'm losing my train of thought here now. Because I, I believe it's important to pay attention to your environment, whether it's um, wh whether it makes you feel good, and why is that? Whether it makes makes you feel uncomfortable, why is that? And uh, so that way you know how to uh, put yourself in better positions. <clears throat> or maintain yourself in, that, in those um, better positions. I think I need to make these bigger here. Yeah, but with Rick and Morty, uh, fuck man, what a classical show, man. I hope um, the writers and uh, I forget the voice actor's name, they remain uh, strong and healthy and um, don't get uh, banned or criticized for uh, for being genuine. I don't even think that they're really even being funny. They're just being genuine, genuine people. And no, hell no, I'm not knocking knocking on Rick, the Rick and Morty show, but they're they're picking on the um, on the things that uh, most of us don't want to speak about because oh man, look, you know, they want to talk. Uh, you shouldn't be talking about divorce. What about the friends divorcing or getting married or getting pregnant? Or what else is out there in the world? No, no, leave religion out of this. Leave politics out of this. No, oh, man. It's... Rick and Morty is successful because it's uh, it's genuine. Plain and so genuine with uh, with that sense of uh, curiosity that we have within us. You know what? What else is out there? I know that when I, for me, when I go out and look in the sky, I think, "Fuck, man, I'm not gonna live uh, long enough to um, uh, see that star way the fuck out there." It's probably, it's, and it's possible that it's already burnt out. But you know, I'm just you know, thinking, you know, what's out there? Alien life? What sort of alien life? believe Carl Sagan, I think it's a Carl Sagan quote, says something. There's either uh, two possibilities in this universe. Either we are all alone or there is life out there. And uh, either way, it's uh, chilling. And I think there'd be such, such comfort in knowing that there was something else out there. I'm going to do this black and then do these like green or something on the final one. And, uh, yeah, so I don't think I'm, we we'll want to sound like I'm knocking Rick and Marty. No, no, no. It's, if anything, I'm trying to break down its, um, 
it's uh, it's flavor that uh, many of us enjoy. It's a plain, genuine flavor. Humble, genuine flavor. See what I'll do later on. I may have to move this over. Final set. But that's it for now. 